On today's Fit to Eat, I'll be making a holiday meal you are going to love. We'll start with a fun and easy turkey breast recipe. Then I'll show you a new twist on traditional green bean casserole. I'll be making a healthy vegetable stuffing with gluten-free gravy and sauteed cranberries to top it off. Today I have Rebecca Turner helping me. It's gonna be a great show, stay tuned. Welcome back to Fit to Eat. I'm your host, Rob Stinson, and today we have Rebecca Turner to help me out, and thank goodness. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. This is incredible. We have food like everywhere. Yes, well, it's so, the holidays. The meal is supposed to be huge. Absolutely. And... All right, so the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take this, and we are going to make a little bit of a mix-up. I've already moved around. Now, look at our beautiful turkey breast. Look at this. And that's a little non-traditional, but traditional in using turkey, but yep. going for the leaner part, which is the breast. Exactly. And we're going to season it really well. So we're going to mix together garlic powder, onion powder, a little cumin. Sage is the, is the like holiday seasoning. Everybody knows. Goes. Black pepper and white pepper. So we got a lot of stuff going on in there. All we're going to do is just kind of mix this up. Now, can you buy just turkey breast that size in the yes. grocery store? Yes, you can. As a, as a matter of fact, they'll cut it for you. They don't like to give up just the breast that way, you know, but look at that. That's a beautiful piece. Mm -hmm. I mean, it really is. So what we're going to do is pan sear the skin down. That way, if anybody wants to take it off, not eat it to be a little bit healthier, they can. But it really does give it more flavor to leave it on. So we're going to season both sides pretty well. And you can also use that trick, too, with any chicken or poultry. Anytime you eat it, if you pull the skin off, you're going to be saving a little bit of fat and calories. Absolutely. All right, now we're going to go with that little teaspoon of oil. And then we're going to take this, move this right over, and turn it upside down right in the middle of the pan. Perfect. All right. Now. We're going to season the opposite side. Oh, wow, it's in the pan. How yep. smart. Yep. And we're going to get all that good flavor in the pan because that's going to be the basis for our gravy. And that's the one time where it really is going to help having that skin in there because you got to actually have a little bit of that turkey juice. Right. Turkey breast doesn't have much. Right, and that still cuts the way a lot of the fat than making it a traditional way. Abs so a little fat's okay. Absolutely. I know, and I tell you what. It looks so good because that's completely edible. And I said this is for a family of four. That's probably more than they would need. So they'll have what's always fun during holidays. Leftovers. Turkey sandwiches. Yeah, you got to have something when it's all said and done. All right, so what we are going to do as well, we are going to do a virtual breadless stuffing. Breadless stuffing. I know, it sounds kind of crazy, huh? It's a little bit of an oxymoron, but show me. All right. Stuffing can be done, and instead of breading, what do we have? Well, that looks like cauliflower. And that is, that is well, ground cauliflower. Well, and you just did that in a food processor? I put it in a food processor, I blended it so it came out, and it really is like breadcrumbs. Well, it almost looks like breadcrumbs. I know. I had people think it was cheese. Oh. But, you know, it really does look that way. So, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of that oil in this pan. Okay. And then we have, I'm going to hand them to you. You ready? Yes. Onion. Just dump them. Dump them all. Bell pepper. Celery. Red bell pepper. Ooh, pretty. And you know why? I mean, look at that. That says holidays to me. Well, yes, it does. All right, have now the we, got, we got a little bit of other color going on now. Carrots. Shredded. Right. Now, did you just buy those shredded? And garlic. Garlic. 
It's right. garlic your favorite food. Yeah, and this is actually even more garlic. Garlic powder, powder just to be sure it's fair and even. You want me to? And I've got in here now. You can stir that up. We're going to put a good amount of pepper in there because that's going to make a lot. And the more you stir it, the better it'll be. This is a little ground sage and thyme. And I have some fresh sage I'm going to add in as well. You know, the flavoring Ooh, that, that everybody thinks of when they think of stuffing typically is that flavor of sage. Okay, I'm going to turn the breast. I'm hoping it's almost scorched, which, oh, look at that. Oh, that so you mean is that perfect. You didn't mess that up? If I No, that is perfect. So I cook perfect because everything comes out. <laughs> You got to remember now, by the time this goes in the oven, we want a crust all the way around here. So we're going to finish this in the pan that way. But absolutely, because watch what happens. When you baste it, isn't that amazing? I love that. It smells so good. And that crisps up the turkey skin, and it cooks almost all the fat out. So it's really a neat way to do it. All right. so. In there right now, we're going to throw in our fresh sage. Look how pretty the colors are in there, huh? And a little basil. All right. So obviously, you're not going to remember all these different recipes you're going to see today. So if you're interested in any of the recipes you see on today's show, visit the webpage at mpbonline.org slash fit to eat or join the Facebook page MPB fit to eat. Man, I tell you what, that is looking so good. So, so good. And let's see what I'm going to grab next. And I know this is a holiday special and of course turkey is traditional for Thanksgiving, but that would be great for just any day of the Week Abs or year absolutely. for sandwiches, top salads. You ready? Sure. All right, there goes our cauliflower. And I tell you what, it really is starting to smell like the holidays. I swear it's the sage. And fresh herbs, guys, if you have the ability and you have the challenging kind of character to do it, it really works. Now we're going to keep adding stock to this as we go. So you don't pour all that the recipe requires at once into the pan. Exactly. You okay, want to kind of add that it. that mistake before. Yeah, and then because once it's gone, it's gone and then everything kind of <laughs> gets dry. But I tell you, the stuffing is starting to look great already. Our turkey, I tell you what, we're ready on this. What we're going to do on it, now you see that pan is scorched nicely on the bottom. Uh -huh. We're going to take that turkey breast and put it onto our pan. Then I take my little trick that I do, a little spray of our fat-free and a little bit of that vegetable stock to moisten the skin, and it will not burn. So we're going to put this right in the oven, all right? If you would grab that bottom door, I thank you. We'll set it right in the middle, and we're going to turn that down one notch, and we're great there. Yum. Yum, yum. I tell you what, we're doing really good. Now, if you would, I'm going to mm -hmm. take this. Yep. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually have you add into this pan right now the onions first, because they have a tendency not to stick. So and we, we want them to brown. What are we're we making? making our gravy now. Now ah. our garlic. Chef Rob's favorite food. Uh, you got to have it. All right, then the mushrooms. Mushrooms and gravy? Oh, yeah. yeah I guess you did. Oh, yeah. We had, well, look, we had quite a few of them. All right, we're going to bring that back up to temperature. And then you can throw the pepper right in there as well. All at once? Woo -hoo -hoo. Yep. Doing great. Doing great. And I will get all that out of the way. All right. And let's see, we're going to turn our heat down on our stuffing. Tell you what, you did a great job with the stuffing. What we're going to do now is bring the stuffing over to the center, put our spoon in it. You know why we do that, huh? 
It'll keep the glass from possibly cracking. No way. With that temperature, yeah. It what? absorbs it. Huh, even any spoon, like wooden or? Well, wooden or a metal, any anything actually Just to works. help absorb. Yeah. Oh. Dissipates that heat. All right. You were just full of good information. Unbelievable, huh? <laughs> All right. And how are we doing over here? That's looking good. I have no idea. I am just You're doing great. I know what I'm doing. You're doing great. <laughs> I mean, I'm telling you, you're doing great. You're going to make a cook out of me yet. I'm, I'm determined. A little veggie stock in there. All right. Now we're going to look at this and see. It right. looks nice and moist, doesn't it? It actually looks like stuffing. Isn't that I mean, amazing? Bread-like. Right. I'll give you this back so you can okay. kind of use that if you like. A little bit easier and you can get it all off the bottom of the pan. Yum! I tell you what, we're going to add the rest of our stock to the stuffing and it's going to help bring the temperature of it down a little bit. Because we're going to add one egg to this to thicken it. So Will the temperature cook it? The temperature might cook it if it comes off Right from the point when it was simmering and steaming. Nobody wants scrambled eggs. Right. We're not going to make scrambled eggs. But yeah, we are going to break an egg and put into it. And what it does is it becomes that glue. And now you got to remember, we're making food for four people. Right. One egg divided by four people is not going to kill anybody's oh, cholesterol no, no, no. count. All right. Now, over here, let's have a little bit of our rice flour. You put it in right now while everything is hot. And all that's going to do is help thicken the sauce some. And now the rice flour is what help makes it gluten free because Absolutely. people with a gluten sensitivity can't have wheat flour. That's right. That is right. All right, and a little red wine to deglaze it. And I tell you what, believe it or not, watch this. And now you have got actually the finished sauce going on there. Oh. And all we're going to do now is just kind of let it thicken a little bit. Okay. But you see it's got a pretty color now. People are probably wondering, what was that? That was actually just vegetable stock. So here's what we're going to do today. We're going to take a short break. And when we come back, I'm going to show you how to make the green bean casserole, the, the cranberries, put all this together, get it on a plate. It's going to be great. So come right back. Welcome back. All right. Are we ready to move on on this meal? Oh, yes, it's smelling delicious in here. All right. Well, we got a lot to do. We're going to go into this atypical green bean casserole. So I'm going to put you to work one more All time right. over here. And what we're going to do is take this pot in front, just a small saucepan. If you just slowly pour your, that's, and this is skim milk, guys. So fat free. Okay, and you can see the pan is, is relatively warm. All right, and then behind you, you have fat-free cream cheese, and here's the one thing on that. It will make a big old plop. <laughs> I cut it into two, so rather okay. than having that spill up on you. And then the only thing I need to have you do, let's give you a longer spoon. How about that metal spoon right there? All right. And if you will just kind of blend that together, you can break that apart and kind of chop it with the spoon exactly. What we're doing is making a healthy cream base when the green beans are done. And by All using right. your skin milk and the cream cheese, and you're not using that like heavy half and half, right? Yeah, exactly. And then no, no flour in there, no roux in there. I mean, we're literally taking all the calories out. So while you're doing that and stirring that, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do the actual beans themselves, which I love. So we're gonna take in, hit the pan with some zero fat spray, just to get it coated, put a half a teaspoon so again, very low oil, even though we're cooking for a whole family. And our onions go in first. Just a good rule of thumb. And there's quite a few of these because we're gonna add in a lot of flavor for this casserole. Mm-mm-mm. We've also got some red bell pepper, but to keep their color fresh, I'm not gonna add those in quite yet. Gonna turn the heat up on high. This is such a good dish. The only real spice in there is going to be a little garlic and a little bit of crushed red pepper. Not much. 
Well, I have to admit, green bean casserole is one of my absolute favorites at holiday time, so I'm curious to see if you can make it. Oh, taste. I promise you. Tastes as good as my mother in law's. I, I can tell you, it will taste different, but it's delicious. And it's it all really right. is good. So while you're doing that, all I'm going to do is break the onions apart to get them working. Pan's getting good and hot. This is going to be a lot of fun, though. And you can see, guys, what we did already, we took our gravy, we moved our gravy over here in front, and I've got some beautiful, fresh chopped parsley. We're just going to garnish it with some fresh chopped parsley, and then we're going to put that together on the plate later. That's actually gluten-free and a vegetarian gravy, right? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Absolutely. Although, you know what? It does have a little bit of the turkey in there oh, from the right, pan. Oh, that's right, from the pan. From that pan, Thank yeah. Thank you for correcting me. And, and you know what? We check that turkey, but while these are sauteing, I'm going to throw the beans in on top, which Rebecca was so nice. <laughs> she actually took all the little strands off the ends. Guys, you got to do it. Do not cook them with those. Because if you don't want your guests or anyone to bite into that little end. Yeah, it'll, it'll ruin the whole effect. It really or you won't. could be like me and just buy them already pre-washed, pre, pre snack <laughs> No, no, you're going to buy them fresh and they're going to be right. Mm -hmm. All right, then on top of the green beans, we can go ahead now and throw in our red bell pepper. And it adds in again, yet again, more holiday color, huh? Absolutely, that holiday red cheer. Just keep me so it. happy. Okay, so I'm going to go back here and check on the turkey. And people are going to say, well, how do you know? There's only one real way. Why do you think when you get a turkey, it's got that little thermometer that pops out? That's to be sure it's cooked all the way through. If you don't have a turkey or if you're cooking turkey breast, I just get a little thermometer. You can buy them at the grocery store, and they cost just a few dollars. So let me come over here, and I tell you, it looks so good. It smells delicious. I tell you. I'm going to bet it's done, so I'm going to pull it over here in the middle and douse it with a little bit more of our vegetable stock, the way we did. Look at that. Mmm. Oh, he's pretty. Oh, he's looking so good. Okay, this is starting to bubble. I don't want to scorch my okay. milk. Okay, and that's perfect. That's perfect. We're just going to turn it off. You are done. So let's set that. We can leave that right where you have it. Okay. We'll rinse this off in back. And I tell you what, we're there. Are we? So what we're do you want right your turkey where we need. to be? Should be somewhere between 155 and 165. All right. And that's perfect. So that's great news. It's finished. We can leave it right here. And let me tell you, they have this term. It's called resting. And meat rests, and it cuts better after it rests. I'm a working mother. I know nothing about that. Yes, you do. You have to. Come on. You, well, I'm going to make a cook out of you yet. All right, watch where we're going here. We're going to start tossing all this around. I mean, I know nothing about resting. Yeah, Not I know. Not the cooking term. I know, I know. I was being evil. You are. Always. All Always. right, so in there right now, we have a beautiful variety. Look at those colors, huh? It does look like Christmas with the green and the red. Doesn't it, though? But again, even though these are holiday inspired, I want, I want uh, viewers to know that they can make these any time of the year for their family for a meal. Yep. And I tell you what, there's a lot of different ways you could go with this. What I'm going to do is put some in a bowl and actually take that then in top with our almonds and some, if you wanted breading, what do you say? What do you want to do today? Do you want some kind of crisp crust besides the almonds or no? No, I want to go with almonds. Okay. I'm so a nutty kind of girl. I like it. I like it. I like it. Because to me, that's the better flavor. That's the crunch. All right. Now, we're going to add in, that's julienne basil. Gives a natural sweetness, and green onion doesn't take long to cook, and we want to keep all these colors nice and vibrant. Look how pretty that is, huh? It really is. Okay, so into our bowl, let's slide our little turkey friend back. <laughs> I'm going to do this. I tell you what, we can do this right in front of everybody right here where it's going to be even easier. We're going to take... Would you like for me to turn put, this off? Yes, that would be fantastic. We're going to put in about burn half, of, half of our mixture only. And I'll show you why. Then you are going to bring that little pot over. If it isn't too hot, be careful. Yep. You need a towel, don't hesitate. And then we are going to take that. If you'll just, there. there we go. Look at that beautiful creamy. 
I could probably just eat that out the bowl. Oh my gosh. That is going to go right back in the sink. Then we take the other half. Oh, you're building layers? Yeah, it's really nice like that. Oh my gosh, the aroma, huh? All right, here we go, guys. So basically, our bean casserole. Oh, so you're going to top it with um, almonds and then you're going to bake it. Yep, absolutely. All we're going to do is just throw those in and then pop it in the oven. See, that's prettier than breadcrumbs. All right. Well, look, we're going to take another short break. And when we come back, I'll be making some sauteed cranberries and we're going to put the whole plate together. So come right back. I mean, we're having too much fun over here, and the meal is actually almost done. So while you were gone, we put the green bean casserole in there. It only takes a second. I'm going to get it. All right. I wish, I wish viewers could actually smell just the holiday essence that's oh, filling I mean. this kitchen. And look at that. That is perfect. We popped it in there on a nice little pan, and it is perfect. That is exactly what we want to see. So, so pretty. we're going to end up moving that over to the side at some point. All right, so our cranberries. You ready? Yes. You going to help me one more time? Okay, last time. A little bit of oil. Our onion. So this is instead of buying the oh, pan. Is. Oh, that makes you that, so ew. mad, don't it? Oh, I hate those things. It comes out. I'm sorry. Like I know there's thing. people out there that like that creamy, weird stuff that comes in a can. Well, it is. But for some people, it is the holiday tradition. You know, it's. There's just no way I could bloop. eat those. And slice no it way. up. All right, so we're going to do, I did a double dose, because this is for a family of four. So I thought it would only be fair to make sure we have plenty. We're going to throw in some basil for flavor. Oh, that's so pretty. Squeeze some lemon in there, because we're going to add in some sugar substitute, like sucralose. Good squeeze. Now, if you didn't want to use that, could you just use sugar and it would still be a healthy yeah, alternative? Yeah, it's not like we're putting a lot in there. Uh, cranberries can be tart sometimes. Right, so this helps cut that. Yep, but they only cook for a short while, and what's really cool is when you eat them and they're fresh like this, they like pop in your mouth. They're really good in salads this time of year. It really right. adds a crunch. You know we got it. This is just fresh chopped parsley to give it that holiday color. And let me, let me flip this yep. now. <laughs> I'll let you do the flipping. I'd hate to see cranberries all over the kitchen. And I tell you what, I'm going to turn that heat down. Believe it or not, that's how fast that is. So let's have a little fun here. All right. We're going to come over here and actually slice a portion of our turkey. And I'm going to try and cut off that one piece. Look at that. Ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty. One more piece. All right, so they're going to get two nice little slabs. Let's move it to the side. And if you would grab me our platter. Yep. And all that juice coming out of that turkey breast, it's just no dry oh, turkey here. Unbelievable, huh? Because you know you hate all right. dry turkey. So we're going to put that turkey right here and all that. Look at that, how juicy it is. So that extra little piece on there for them. All right, we take our gravy. Our gluten-free gravy. Our gluten-free gra gravy, yep, and put it in the side and then a little bit right on the turkey. So they've got a nice little portion there. And then I'm going to take, now this is the tricky one because this will be very hot. So I'm going to move it very carefully and take that green bean casserole that you said your mother makes the best of. Yes, my mother and my mother-in-law. She actually makes a very good one. But it's very traditional with the onion, fried onions on top and all that. Look at how that looks, huh? So this is a healthier option. Absolutely. All right, set that on the side. And our stuffing is going to go right here. Perfect. Not too much. I bet your guests will never know that there's cauli cauliflower snuck, snuck into their stuffing. I honestly don't think they will, and it's so delicious. And, and then, I don't think you should tell them. If you choose to make this recipe, then just let it be kind of... The look jokes at, on look them. At those. That that is so much better than the canned product 
that people see. I love it. And we got a fresh oh, little sprig like of sage. It smells like Christmas. Look how pretty it is. Oh, I feel like the holidays are here yes. every day of the year. Well, that's I the way mean, it should be. Incredible. So the only thing they didn't see, we blended the egg in while it was hot. Right. So we cooked the egg slightly and filled that stuffing. We obviously wanted to let that turkey sit so we could slice it properly. We took the casserole in there, and it was only in there for, what, maybe five minutes? Minutes, just to get the golden brown. Yep. And, you know, we gave them a lot of recipes today. When you think about overhauling the holidays to be healthier, it can be overwhelming. Just choose one yep. or two. Let's talk about that. If you want to get these recipes, and I hope you do, go to mpbonline.org slash fit to eat or join the Facebook page MPB Fit to Eat. And I tell you what, Rebecca, that's got to fit every nutrition bill you can think of. It looks good. The flavors are going to be so different, and yet it's healthy. Right, and again, just keeping some of your family favorites, incorporating health rewards. I know. The, the most important part, though. Do I get to taste no, it? You, no, no, not yet. It's the portion size, too. Yeah, because when you have healthier foods with lower fat, you get to have larger portions. But, I mean, it's just a wonderful, balanced meal. All right, well, look. It's always a pleasure. Oh, all this I love working with Rebecca, and I want to thank you for being our guest. It's been a fabulous day here. I'm your host, Rob Stinson. Eat well.